Hello, Chris Hyman from Mozilla here. I want to quickly show you that we have a new feature in Firefox Nightly, which is CSS variables. Not variables like you have in preprocessors like less and SAS, but the ones defined by the W3C and defined in this specification where you can read all about them. What does that mean? How can you use them? It's rather simple. All you have to do is define a scope, in this case the root of the document, and then start a variable label with the, with the var dash prefix. That one defines the variable and you use it by calling it with the var parenthesis uh, syntax here. So we define a company blue and a lighter blue and we apply it to an h1 and an h2 and as you can see these colors automatically now get applied to that. So we define them once and can reuse them in different CSS includes or in the same CSS document. Now, CSS variables are not only for the whole document, but are actually scoped. So you can change them when you, for example, have a different scope and overwrite the original variables, which stay still the same way. So in this case here, we've got a root definition of these two colors, a company blue and a lighter blue, and one inside a partner badge scope. This is a diff that we have in the page here as well that has a class of partner badge. So instead of having the same colors defined in the main one, we redefine them inside the scope of partner badge and then they get a different color. So that way you can actually reuse the original root ones later on if you're outside of a partner badge again, or you can actually apply them just to the scope that you're in right now. The variable uh, function here or the way to call the function also means that you can calculate with them and you can reuse them and anything can become a variable. So this example here has more complex information in it. So let's leave the page and load this quickly. So there we now have colors, we have a margin, we have a small margin which actually is a calculation of the large margin just divided by two and we have a border style which is a definition of different styles of a border and a header size of 24 pixels. That one we inside the headers inside the partner badge we have a calculation where we divide the header size by two and that's how you can see how these different things apply. You can also redefine a variable inside a media query. So if this one gets less than 400 pixels, then we remove the border style and we set the background to a light gray. So if you resize the browser now, you can see this in action and back to the original size. And that's how you can use variables in CSS. So give it a go in Firefox Nightly right now. If you find any bugs, please file bugs and have fun with that.